Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to Muggle Magic. In this video, we're going to be making the pamphlet for the new Salem Philanthropic Society, and this is from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So the NSPS is basically like New Salem. So basically, they're talking about the Salem Witch Trials, and um, yeah, I did a little reading about the Salem Witch Trials while I was doing this DIY, while I was designing the templates and, and everything, and that's some pretty creepy stuff. I'm going to be honest, that is creepy. Like not only is it weird that they actually like you know they put some people to death i think there was like 16 17 people that they had put to death um on charges of being witches five of which were men and the rest were female but like the evidence they had is pretty creepy i don't know if it's all true some people may have been lying or there are other theories as to what could have caused this but like, if you haven't read about this, you you should. It started off with, um, there were like rumors about witchcraft being done in the area, like surrounding areas around Salem, Massachusetts. And this was in the 1600s. And I don't remember the name of the family, but um, there were, there, there was this family and they had a, a two or three daughters who started like having some really weird behavioral issues like throwing things across the room and screaming and like trying to hurt themselves and other people and then apparently the parents just like walked into like different rooms around their house and would find their daughter there or daughters there in these really weird like contorted poses it it's really creepy <laughs> like that's that stuff of like nightmares that is like horror movie quality stuff and i'm i know there was a movie about the salem witch trials and i watched it but it's been years ago so i can't remember but yeah there was like these like weird contorted poses it's just so creepy anyways i don't know if it was like real witchcraft but probably not one of the theories that the one that i like the most is that um they were the people of salem were eating bread that had sort of had some mold on it and apparently this specific type of bread grew this specific type of mold that um is used in lsd so <laughs> apparently they were they possibly they were all just tripping on acid and <laughs> that's why they put so many people to death and had this gigantic witch hunt anyways yeah enough of the history lesson let's get into this diy You'll find a list of supplies you're going to need in the description box below, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. First of all, you want to print the templates. These are all printed on regular A4, 8.5 by 11 sized uh, paper, and it's printed on cardstock. So these are double-sided, and I did design four pages for this. These are completely original pages that I designed because I wanted more content in this in this thing because originally it's just this. So it's it's just the outside here, this cover, and then the inside here. So basically, if you want that, you can just print page one and four back to back and then just cut it out, fold it in half, and you're done. But I really wanted some more content in here, so I designed a few more pages, and I thought you guys would appreciate that. So I'm going to start off by just clamping them together somewhere right here just to hold the pages together easily. And I'm going to use my long reach stapler. You could uh, use whatever method you want to staple these together, but this is the easiest one. So I'm ju I just, I've already measured right here on my long reach stapler uh, where I want to put the staple. So I just line the pages up with where I marked this and we're gonna put one staple there and one staple right about here. So now I can remove my paper clamp and I've got this stapled together. And now I can fold it in half right where I stapled it. And the only thing we have to do next is trim around the edge. And I'm gonna do that with a ruler and X-Acto knife, but you can use whatever method you want if you have a paper cutter or something, you can use that. And I designed these with quite a bit of uh, margin around the edge, so you can just, it doesn't have to be right against the line. You can just uh, cut in 
a little bit further in. And then what we want to do on this side is make sure that we cut in enough so that it doesn't have like a larger margin on this side than this side. So there's like hardly any margin on this side. So let's try and mimic that and do the same thing on this side. And remember, you can always cut more off, but if you go too far in on the very first try, you can't really undo that. And I think I did a pretty good job with the margin on this. So that is basically it. I mean, this was a pretty simple one um, for you guys. So now we can take a look at the inside of this. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six pages in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can use this prop uh, for your Halloween costume if you're <laughs> being a new Salemer, or you could just, you know, leave it around the house for someone to read and think you're crazy. And if you want a chance at winning the pamphlet that I made in this video today, there's a weekly giveaway link for this in the description box below. And if I can get 700 likes on this video, I will be choosing two winners. And if I can get a thousand likes or more, I'll choose four winners. So remember to leave a like if you did like this video. I also have another giveaway going on right now. It's a 40K giveaway. So when my channel reaches 40K subscribers, I'll be giving away a Muggle Magic Mystery Box. And this is gonna include seven mystery items, two of which are gonna be brand new items that I have not released on my channel yet. And I won't release those until after the box is won and received. There's a link to that in the description box as well. And now to announce the winners of the Hogwarts House banners. The Hufflepuff winner is Justin Henderson. The Ravenclaw winner is Joyce Hung. The Slytherin winner is Kyger Nico. And the Gryffindor winner is Charlie Hughes. Congratulations, and I've sent all of you emails with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.